Ukrainian Air Force is now using Hammer to target Russian assets. An image surfaced on social media depicting a MiG-29 aircraft equipped with a lone 250kg AASM-250 Hammer secured on the inner pylon beneath the port wing. Notably, the aircraft featured blue and yellow markings strategically designed to mitigate the risk of friendly fire. It's evident that the French-supplied precision-guided bomb has been successfully integrated with the Ukrainian MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter jets. France started supplying the Armament Air Sol Modulaire AASM, commonly known as Hammer, Highly Agile Modular Munition Extended Range. As per reports, about 50 of these are being provided each month starting in January. Viewers may note that French President Emmanuel Macron announced on January 16th that France would send AASM bombs to Ukraine as part of a wider support package that also included additional MBDA Scalp EG cruise missiles. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how French Hammer could help Ukraine. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Hammer is an all-weather, smart, air-to-surface standoff weapon developed by Safran Electronics and Defense. Similar to the US-made JDAM, the Safran Electronics and Defense Manufactured Upgrade Kit attaches movable wings, a rocket motor, advanced navigation, and targeting electronics to a dumb, unguided aerial bomb, converting it into a precision-guided standoff weapon. Hammer is basically a conventional bomb upgraded with a guidance and glide kit. This enables it to have greater precision and reach. The baseline variant integrates a nose-mounted guidance section and a tail-mounted range extension kit, which consists of a rocket booster attached to a 250kg or 550-pound unguided bomb. This variant features a hybrid inertial navigation system INS, global positioning system GPS, guidance. Other variants incorporate either infrared homing or laser guidance in addition to the INS and GPS one for increased accuracy. The AASM thus offers three different types of guidance options depending on the target and operational context. The kits have further been developed for use with 125 kilogram or 276 pound and 500 kilogram or 1,100 pound and 1,000 kilogram or 2,200 pound class bombs. Hammer entered service in 2007 with the French Air Force and Naval Aviation, equipping the Dassault Rafale and Mirage 2000D. Depending on the drip altitude, Hammer can hit targets at a maximum range of 70 kilometers or 43 and a half miles. This is similar to the JDAM ER or Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range. Hammer is capable of engaging moving and land targets or high-speed agile marine targets with remarkable accuracy down to within a meter. The smart bomb can be used for both close air support and deep strike missions. The bombs made their combat debut in 2008 in Afghanistan with the Rafale employing them for air support. In the 2011 conflict in Libya, a hammer released from a Rafale obliterated a Libyan attack aircraft at Misrata Airport and a tank from a distance of 55 kilometers or 34 miles. Reports suggest that a total of 225 bombs were used, achieving an effectiveness of 99%. In September 2020, 
India also ordered hammers along with the Rafale fighter jets. There's been news of hammer being integrated with the Indian indigenous light combat aircraft, Tejas. In 2017, La Tribune reported a unit cost of 120,000 euros or about 130,000 pounds for a new version called AASM Evolution Block 4 with the aim by Safran to lower it to 80,000 euros. That are supposed to be provided to Ukraine. It's to be noted that the smart bombs integration and drop trials had occurred on a Lockheed Martin F-16 way back in 2014. However, given the timeline communicated by the International F-16 Coalition, indicating aircraft delivery in the third quarter of 2024, the Ukrainian Air Force opted to integrate the bomb with their MiG-29s instead. Previously, Ukrainian strikes utilized U.S.-provided Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, glide bombs. The supply of these munitions was halted as Washington ceased aid to Ukraine. Military observers suggest that the use of the same pylon as the JDAM ER has facilitated the swift deployment of the hammer. On March 5, 2024, Ukrainian forces deployed the hammer against Russian positions situated in Kazachi Lahari, situated on the eastern bank of Kherson Oblast. Subsequently, Russian state controlled media acknowledged the incident, citing the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation which reported that ground-based air defenses intercepted a solitary guided bomb within the area of a designated military operation. Ukraine is largely dependent on foreign military supplies when it comes to sustaining its resistance against Russian forces. The French smart bombs offer the Ukrainian Air Force a lethal precision weapon for striking targets behind Russian front lines. Their hybrid design sets them apart from conventional military equipment, mirroring a larger trend towards increased versatility and adaptability in combat gear. Integration of the hammer bombs with other Ukrainian fighter jets, like Su-24s and Su-27s, is anticipated. The AASM hammer has notably bolstered the Ukrainian Air Force's capacity for conducting air-to-ground strikes. Russia would surely be worried by this development. However, a supply limit of 50 units per month is too low for Ukraine's requirement. It'll be interesting to see if France enhances this limit. Two years ago, Macron advocated for resolving the Russo-Ukrainian war through negotiations. Today, he stands as one of Europe's most vocal critics of Russian leader Vladimir Putin. On the 14th, the French president also said that his country stood ready to ensure that Russia does not win the war in Ukraine, urging allies not to impose limits on assistance. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.